Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Kirsch, your Color Street Stylist, and I today am going to teach you how to apply Color Street nail strips. Today I have chosen from the new spring collection, Moscow or Never. Really excited. So the contents in here. Let's go ahead and open it so y'all can see. So once you open your Color Street kit, it comes with nail prep pad. You see right there. Comes with also a nail file and your 16 strips. Woo! This is such a pretty color. I can't wait. So the first thing I do is that I go ahead and I prep my nails. So I already trimmed them, I already cut them down, um, you know, made them the length that I wanted. I also wash my hands with Dawn soap. Um, it just takes away any grease that if I had, if I put lotion on my hands. So I went ahead and did that, but just grab it. Wrap it around all your nails. Just to prep them before you apply. This is really key to keeping a nice look. So, these are my nails. And I've used Color Street now for almost a year and they're nice and long, so they're looking good. All right, so all you have to do, I'm trying to find, ooh, where are they? There's a perforated end, so I'm trying to find it. But if not, just go ahead and scissor it open. Whoop, whoop. Go ahead and pull out the strip. There's, let me show you. There's two of them, okay? There's 16 strips total. I'm just gonna go ahead and use one for right now. And I'm gonna tear one of them off. I'm gonna go ahead and there's two, so there's the top cover, which is a clear one. It's going to rip right off, right there. And we also have, I have a little trash can, I'm throwing it away. And then we have the bottom layer. It's white. And there's nail polish strip. All right, from here, you see I'm touching it. It's very easy to use. You know, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with my nail without touching the cuticle, all right? Go ahead. And apply it to my nail. See right there? All right, this is what I like to do. This is just tips and tricks that I do in order for my manis to look better. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab little scissors, and I'm gonna cut right there. And I'm gonna cut it off, okay? I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna push this back. Explaining why I do that. I do that because I wanna make sure it curates on my nail, okay? So I want this manicure to look pristine, look good. So I want it to curate on my nail, so I'm gonna push this back, and I'm gonna leave it there for a minute, okay? The other piece, which is right here, you can go ahead, tear that off, and put it for the other side. And go ahead, line it up, and just want to show you, I didn't like my placement, so it, no problem. I can gently push it back up, which is what I love about Color Street. You can try again. This time, I like the placement. Ta -da! Look how pretty, guys. And the excess, I'm going to do the same thing, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take off the excess from my nail. Cut it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it in. So you can see I'm folding it in. 
And you'll see why in a little bit why I do that, okay? So make sure you smooth it out. See a nail. So I just want to show you, I want it to be a smooth look, okay? I don't want you touching your cuticles. Right there, that's the application. All right, so let's continue. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another strip. I know my sizes, so I'm just making sure that I get the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Pull the top layer off, throw it away. Then I'm gonna take the other piece, throw it away, and I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead, line it up with my nail, not touch the cuticle. And again, voila. Guys, this is really easy. It's just, it takes practice. All it does is take practice. You just gotta make sure that you're lining it up, get the right size, you know? So at first, if you don't know what's your size, you go ahead and you line it up to your nail and you're like, oh, okay, this is the right size. I'm gonna go ahead. Cutting this piece. Perfect. All right. Cut it off. You see? And I go ahead and I smooth it out. I smooth out my nail right there. It's looking awesome. And I also, um, oh, let me go ahead and show you what else I do. There it is. Alrighty, so I grab a cuticle stick in case I need a little more help. So I grab a cuticle stick if I need it. Okay. Let's do the next one. Same thing. Peel the top. Peel the bottom. If your nails are too long, that's the reason why there's two sides as well. So you can use the other side for your other nail. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and align it. Mm, didn't like that placement, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up gently, 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 and there you go. I was able to lift it right back up because I just didn't like the placement, okay? You can do this, um, just I don't recommend doing it more than twice. Um, that's just my recommendation. And then I go ahead, smooth it all around. I'm gonna try to show you something through the camera. All right, you see how there's like a little excess right here? So all I do with my cuticle pusher is that I push it in gently. So I go ahead and the little excess that I see, I gently dab it right down, dab it right down. And by doing so, that's it, there's no more crease anymore, see? So it's just little tips and tricks that I do that it just works for me. And I'm gonna cut the excess off of it. Right there. Right. Moving right along. Look how nice this color is looking, y'all. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. All right. Let's see. Let's go to the next nail. And another thing. So, I go from the pinky to the thumb. Why do I do that? So usually in application, you can perforate it with your thumb if you want to. Um, I don't, but you can. And it comes out smooth, but I'm about to teach you another way to make it look smooth as well. I just prefer. So I go ahead and I'm gonna line it up without touching my cuticle again. And again, y'all, I just look and make sure 
but not touching the cuticle. Push it up, push the sides in. Then I get my little scissors. Make sure it's good. And I cut the excess off. Perfect. And fold it in, fold it in, fold it in. Make sure everything looks really smooth. Again, there's like a little crease bending right there. I'm gonna go ahead with the cuticle pusher, gently, like just gently dab it in there. Make sure it's straight. Again, it's really hard to show you through the video, but it's just making it straight. There you go. Looking nice. All right, go ahead and do the other side. And again, y'all, I have pretty long nails, so sometimes um, the other half will not work. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. Like, look that little piece and I was able to do it. So you just gotta make sure, you gotta see if it works. If not, just grab the other half. You have another half. And smooth it out, smoothing it out on my nail. Using the cuticle pusher. Just be able to smooth it out. And don't do it rough, guys, don't do it rough. Think about it, it's nail polish. Just want to do it gently. It'll help you get that nice, crisp look that you're looking for for your nails. Woohoo! Already three down. Nice. All right. I'm going to pause right here so I can teach you my trick crystal nail file. All right. I want my nails to look crisp, right? I don't want it to look like there's so much excess. So what I do, grab the nail, file downward. What? That simple, y'all. You file downward, get the sides of it. File, file, file. And the excess literally just comes right off. I'm going to show you the finished results. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? And I do this to all my nails. Go. I file up, down. That's what I'm, how I'm filing. So make sure you take note of that. Then I go in on one side, file in. And file in on the other side, file in. And look how it comes right off, y'all. It's just coming right off. Just make sure I wanna make it look crisp. This way, it lasts longer too. It lasts much longer, see? I'm gonna continue doing it to all my nails. And as you can see, it's instantly dry. They are instantly dry. I don't have to worry about it. I can literally, if I wanted to get up right now and start washing dishes once I'm done applying them, I could. Do I do it? No, I wait. Probably 10 minutes. <laughs> but you can. You can even fall asleep after this like application. It's not, it's not gonna ruin your nails. I'm just filing the excess. Foul in, foul in. There you go. Took it right off. Got to do it to the other side. And some people have asked me, they're like, is it hard to do color tree like from one side to the other? No, it's not that hard. See? Filing down, filing down, filing in, filing in comes right off. Ta -da. Do it again. File down, file down. File in. Okay. 
Sometimes you just got to take a little longer, but came right off. Yay. All right. And then last one until I'm going to go finish off. But that's the reason why I do it this way. I just like it. It makes my nails last a lot longer. If I use an actual nail file, it's not that it won't work, but sometimes it'll just leave a mark that I just don't like. So I prefer to do it this way. Gives me a longer mani. There we go. All right, so two more. Let's keep continuing. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, I already know my size, so take the top layer off. Take the bottom. Take it off. Apply it onto the nail. Ooh. Remember, try not to get your cuticles. There you go. That's it, y'all. It's so simple. It's so simple. And the best thing about this product is that, yes, it lasts up to 10 days. It can last longer. I'll show you another trick. For me, it usually lasts a really long time because I take my time using the cuticle stick in order to fix it up. Like I said, gently. You always have to do everything gently. Then I grab my little scissors, cut the excess off. And go ahead, fold it in. Fold it in, fold it in. All right, and then I'm gonna use the other side, my other nail. And it worked. So I was able to use the other half for my nail. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's like it's too much. So you just have to, you know, improvise. Get the other one. Get the other strip. And I actually have to admit, one of the strips for my pinky, it's better that I use the bigger size. One of my pinkies smaller than the other. <laughs> but we have all different sizes, so it works. It works out in our favor. All right. So I went ahead and did that one. And last one. The thumbs. All right. Go ahead. Do the thumbs. Took off the top layer. Took off that bottom layer. Oop. Bottom layer. Just to line it up. See? And grab the little scissors. Cut the excess off. Push this part down. It's a little end to this, okay? So I've been taking it off. You throw that piece away too. And I'm gonna apply the other half to my other part of my nail. Gotta get the right placement, okay? All right. It's, you want to make sure you smooth it out, smooth the edges out, smooth it forward, smooth it forward, smooth it forward, smooth it forward. Can't tell you enough, smooth it forward. 
Now for the finishing touches of the manicure. All right, go ahead, file the excess off. Let's file the excess off of the manicure. Go in a downward motion, just up, down, just going like this. You're not going like this, like up and down, but you're going like this. Just want to make sure. So you may mess up your mani if you keep going up and down. I give myself some space. All right, that came right off. Do the same thing. And that's why I love the crystal nail file, y'all. It's just amazing. It's just an amazing look right here. It falls away the excess. There, it comes right off. And two more nails, yay! Wait till you see this man, y'all. It's gorgeous. Love the new spring collection too. They made so many good decisions with all of it. But I was dying to put this one on. All right, put the excess off. Fall in, always remember that, fall inwards. Gonna make sure. Yes, came right off. Perfect. And last one. Last one for the thumb. Fall, fall, fall. And in. That is pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and push this cuticle in. This nail polish, y'all, it's life-changing. Life-changing, I tell you. Because it instantly dries. You don't have to worry about it. It's completely, it's a completely dry. Ready for the results? And I can touch it, do whatever I want with my hands, and they look like this. There's different options you can do to make it last longer. So this one will probably last me up to 10 days, but you can also do this. We also have the option of using Clear as Day, which is a top coat. It'll make it last another 10 days. So, sorry, it's not, there you go. You can see it right here. This is a really good option. Or if you wanna add glitter to your nail polish, just do a top coat of glitter. And this one is coming up rose gold, so I'm probably going to do this option just because I can get my mani to last longer, and it'll be glitter right on the bottom of it, so it'll be like a glitter dip, so it's going to look good. Another thing is that, y'all, I'm going to show you all the strips that I have extra. You can save this stuff, so I want you to make sure that you know that you can save this. I have one whole strip set, and... I also have extra strips from the first Manny. All I have to do is put it in here and flat iron the end, and it'll last. Now, I don't suggest you keep it for more than six months. Um, I have heard that it will dry out, but if you do it quickly and you put it in, I have done it and it works, so that's another option. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.